In this figure, we have a part of a circle, or we can call it a sector, and the radius is 4.5. Below, we have a horizontal line segment, and these two right triangles are congruent. Here we have the right side of the triangle, which is 3.1, and the radius is also the hypotenuse of this triangle. We need to find the length of the arc X. To find the length of this arc, first we need to find this central angle that intercepts this arc. Let's call this angle angle theta. Now, before we find this angle, in this right triangle, we will find this acute angle, and let's call it angle alpha. Then for angle alpha, this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse. So, to find this angle, we will use the sine function, and we will say that sine of angle alpha equals the opposite side, which is 3.1, divided by hypotenuse, which is 4.5. Then alpha equals sine inverse of 3.1 over 4.5. This is approximately 43.54 degrees. So now we can say that each of these acute angles is approximately 43.54 degrees. And now because these three angles together make 180 degrees, to find angle theta we will subtract these two angles. Then theta equals 180 degrees minus 43.54 degrees and minus another 43.54 degrees. Then theta equals 92.92 .92 degrees. And now from here, to find the length of this arc, we can take two approaches. With the first approach, we will use the following formula. Arc length equals theta over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi r, and you may recognize 2 pi r as the formula for the circumference of a circle. So, if here we would have a complete circle, then 2 pi r would be the circumference of this circle. And by multiplying 2 pi r by theta over 360 degrees, we show that we take only a fraction of the circumference. And this would be exactly what this angle theta intercepts. So then, in this formula, let's replace theta with 92.92 .92 and r with 4.5. Then the arc length x equals 92.92 .92 degrees divided by 360 degrees and multiplied by 2 pi times 4.5. Here we will use a calculator and we will get that x is approximately 7.3 units. So, we found the length of this arc, and it is approximately 7.3 units. Now, let's see what is the other approach to the solution. This time, we will use the formula arc length equals radius times angle theta, and angle theta has to be in radians. So, in the first step, we will take angle theta, that is, 92.92 .92 degrees, and we will convert it to radians by multiplying it by pi over 180 degrees. This is approximately 1.62 radians. And now we will replace r with 4.5 and theta with 1.62. Then x equals 4.5 multiplied by 1.62, which is approximately 7.3 units. Now, do you see the similarities between these two formulas? In both methods, we use angle theta, which is 92.92 .92 degrees, then 2 pi over 360 degrees is the same as pi over 180, and in both cases, we multiply by the radius of 4.5. Now we have the problem completed, please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.